Hi YouTubers, it's 40Cookie45LC coming to you with Hot Lead Zone and today we're going to talk about how zinc ruins our bullet alloys. And we're doing this video for Anona Thetan who had a lot of questions about zinc. How do you get it in there? And how do you get it out? Can we skim it all off and save our lead? What happens to the pot? when zinc contaminates lead alloys? Questions like that. Well first of all we, we need to know what a good ingot looks like. So here you see four one pound ingots cast in a Lyman ingot mold and you'll notice that the, the lead looks beautiful. Very uniform. This has about four percent antimony in it and the antimony doesn't actually mix in solution with the lead but it's part of the crystalline structure. Now you look at the upper right ingot and you'll see that there's some crystalline structure there as the lead cools. That's fine, that's all normal. But you'll notice that the, the surface is beautiful. Not only the sides but the under surface of the ingot, the top part that was poured last you see it looks nice and uniform and homogeneous and, and nice. Even beautiful. But early in my casting career, a friend gave me three buckets of all these beautiful wheel weights. But some of them looked kind of weird and I didn't know what they were, but he told me that there was a process that other casters were able to melt it and get, it, get the lead out and, and be okay with it. And so I took this lead he gave me and, and fired up my burner and, and went ahead and, and made ingots. But the problem was, this is what happened. And I saved these because I found out later that, that some of those wheel weights were zinc. And I tried to get that process where I get that lead out but all I did was melt the zinc into the alloy. Now it must have been about somewhere around 900 plus degrees and there was no YouTube in those days so I was learning by trial and error and I saved these all these years to remind me to never let it happen again. Now you see what happened was Instead of the, of the lead behaving normally, this kind of a, kind of like cake icing kept coming up out of the lead. And it was cruddy and curdly and I tried to skim it all out as part of the, of the dross that I was skimming, but it kept coming out. So there were actually a fair number of good, in, of good wheel weights of lead and stick-on type of, of uh, wheel weights that I had uh, melted also. And so I, I knew uh, there were some good ones in there. It was good lead in there. I was trying to save the good lead. But I couldn't do it. Because here's what happened. I kept skimming and skimming and skimming. And then I tried to pour some ingots with a lead that looked like it might be okay. But this is the best that I could do. You'll see that, that there is that cruddy curdly icing type of of zinc that was that's actually part of the alloy now. The so zinc ruins the alloy and, and you, you can't get it out because it's right there into the lead. So even in the deepest part of the lead you'll see that it on the undersurface on the two ingots on the left just don't look good. And you wouldn't want to cast bullets with this. I wound up throwing away the whole pot also because the pot was ruined as well. So YouTubers out there, the best advice is when you're making your ingots that you don't keep cooking your lead so the temperature never gets high enough and, it, and the only real problem is when you're melting wheel weights today because wheel weights have some zinc ones in there. Otherwise zinc will, will not get into your lead alloys because if you're using roofing lead or old scuba weights or fishing weights or range scrap there won't be any zinc in there the only zinc that can get in there is from a zinc wheel weight 
So watch out for those zinc wheel weights. Don't cook your lead when you're doing wheel weights because this is what we want. And once we have good clean ingots, we'll put these into our casting bottom pour pots and we don't have to worry about zinc because there won't be any. So YouTubers out there, take care. And Anona C10, uh, if you can get that zinc out of your alloy, good luck to you because I sure couldn't do it. And if you can do it, maybe you ought to do a video on how to do it. But you can't save much lead. And what lead you can save is suspect. So best policies is throw it out and, and you might even have to sacrifice your pot. But take care and good luck to all of you. See you in the next video. Bye for now.